All right, get ready to amp it up as we dive into one of the coolest and loudest Pokemon in the game, Toxtricity. My name is Just Weavile, and welcome to my Pokemon Wi-Fi Battle series where we try to bring out the potential of every Pokemon there is. So if that's your cup of tea, why not subscribe so you don't miss out. Let's get started. <laughs> and the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Erlen. So they're going to lead off with Sliverwing, which is fine. Nice and not shiny. I don't know why I said that. And we lead off with Kyurem. I led off with Kyurem because Kyurem seemed to do all right. Um, I was expecting a Torkoal lead, really, but um, we could go for a Draco Meteor right off the bat on this thing, but it could be Assault Vest, so I don't want to mess around with that. We'll go straight into Skeledurge here. Skeledurge can take any hit from this thing, unless they predict the Skeledurge and go for an EQ, in which case we're boned. It will two-shot us because we're especially defensive um, Skeledurge, so let's see how this plays out. So they go for a U-turn, which is bound to do no damage, which is awesome. Um, the best bet here is to go into the... I'd say the Volcanion. Yeah, the Volcanion is probably their best bet. Steamer comes in. Volcanion does really well against our team, um, to be honest with you. So I think our best thing to do is go back into QRM. So we've got a bit of a back and forth going on here. Um, but this is how battles do be sometimes. There we go. We're going to withdraw our Skeledurge. And we'll go back into QRM. Because it resists both stabs. So it's probably the best thing to do. Because Steam Eruption is definitely coming our way. If it specs, it'll still do a nice chunk of damage. But at least we lower its PP by more with pressure. So they go for a Steam Eruption and they miss, unfortunately, for them. Um, but that's fine. So what we can do here is I will go for an Earth Power. Um, just see if the Terra. So let's go for an Earth Power now. They more than... Oh, wait. I was going to say they more than likely withdraw into Weezing. But I guess they're just staying in to take the Earth Power then. They go for an Overheat. So they're not Specs at least. And that does over half, which is crazy damage. Um, so that lowers the Special Attack though, which is great. And now I'm going to go for another Earth Power. Because even if they bring the Weezing in, we've got Switch-ins for that. They do withdraw the Volcanion. Are they going to go Weezing? Tough Daddy. That's going to be the Screamtail, right? Yeah, Screamtail. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a cool nickname. I like that. Uh, Earth Power comes through. It does no damage, obviously. And um, they don't necessarily know a choice lock, because I think Kyurem outspeeds Volcanion anyway. But, you know, we're probably choice locked, right? So, we're going to withdraw. Um, I'm probably going to go into... Hmm, they might have Thunder Wave. So, I think Toxtricity is a good one here. I think I will go Toxtricity. So, we'll go Toxtricity now. And Toxtricity looks like it does really well against their team, you know? So we're going to Rancid, the Toxtricity. They go for a Wish, that's fine. Absolutely fine. Based on that Earth Power damage we did to Volcanion with Kyurem, I think a um, Throat Spray, well, potentially Throat Spray boosted attack will do the trick here. So I'm looking at the team and I'm thinking, you know what, we go for a Shift Gear here every single time. They can't paralyze us. They can't do anything to my Toxtricity, really, with the Scream Tail other than self screens, maybe. They go for a Psychic Noise. That could sting a little bit. No, it won't do no damage. Not from a, not from a Scream Tail, it won't. Not from a Scream Tail, it won't. As we go for a Shift Gear now, which is definitely going to help us out here. So Shift Gear is going to boost our speed by plus two. And it also raised our attack, but we're not really bothered about the attack raise because we're a special set. It's just the speed that we wanted, really, here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a... I want to go for a Boom Burst to activate the Throat Spray. Because that Psychic Noise did nothing. So I want to go for a Boom Burst. I'm going to go for a Boom Burst here. They might switch out expecting a Sludge Wave, um, but they might not at the same time. And um, we go for a Boom Burst. Does like a good chunk of their HP, which is awesome. Activates our Throat Spray, boosting our special attack, which is awesome. And then they go for an Encore. That's not good. So we're going to have to save this for another, di another day. So well, no, I'm, I'm locked into Boom Burst, to be fair. I'm locked into Boom Burst, to be fair. So what we could do here is... Boom Burst hits everything on their team. We Terra Boom Burst here. We always Terra Boom Burst here. It'll, it'll hurt the Screen Tail. All that. It'll hurt them all. And Psychic Noise won't do nearly as much damage either. So we're going to Terrestrialize now into a normal type. And the only way they can defeat this Toxtricity is with First Impression from Sliverwing, really. Um, so Toxtricity comes through, and the Lilligan also outspeeds us, which we've got to be careful of. Um, in the sun, it does. Um, so we go for a Boom Burst here. Boosted by Terror, plus one special attack. Boosted by Punk Rock. Oh my god, that's a clean KO on the Screen Tail. A clean KO on the Screen Tail. Wow. That is some, it's got some power behind it, this Pokemon has. Toxtricity has some serious firepower. Alright, Sliverwing comes in. This thing's going to first impression us. And if it's banded, then it'll do the trick. But if it's not banded, we should live. So let's go for a Boom Burst right now. Boom Burst comes through. They don't first impression. They're going to go for a close combat more than likely. Let's see if they live. They do not live that. They do not live that. <laughs> oh, wow. They cannot live that at all. 
Um, I think their best bet, in my opinion, is to go into Torkoal to get the sun up. Sack Torkoal off and then get Lilligant in. I think that's their best bet. Turt Reynolds comes in, which is fine. The Torkoal. So our best play here is not to go for the Boom Burst. Our best play is to go for a Shift Gear here. Oh, we're still on cord. I thought he wore off. Hmm. Let's go for a Boom Burst. It's our only option. Boom Burst comes through. There we go. Boom Burst. Oh, that, that Torkoal was not going to live that even without the crit. If, if, if the Screamtail couldn't live it, the Torkoal definitely couldn't live it. And we ended the Encore. But unfortunately, this does mean Lilligan can come in um, for free and get a Chlorophyll boost. Lily Rose comes in. That's going to be the Lilligan. So... Obviously, we're going to lose our, our, um, our Terra here, but I, I think what my best play here is, because this isn't doing anything for us, is to sack off Curem, go into something that can take this Lilligan out afterwards, like Skeledurge, and just go from there. They withdraw predicting that. Oh, okay. And they go for Steamer. Interesting choice. So Steamer comes in. This is actually really beneficial for us, though, because what we can do is... With Kyurem, we can freeze dry, and even if they go into Galarian Weezing, we can still do some damage to it, which is nice. So, the pressure is exerted, and we just go for a freeze dry here. I think they were predicting something else here. Freeze dry comes through. It should do a lot of damage. I don't think it KOs, though. It does KO the uh, Steamer. That is unfortunate for my opponent. So, Volcanion goes down. They couldn't switch Ligon either, because of the fact we could have gone for an Ice Beam slash freeze dry. And the Galarian Weezing might not even be... Lily Rose comes in there. That's going to that's gonna outspeed us despite our choice scarf. So we'll go for the freeze dry again. I'm not bothered about this thing going down. If they Terra Fire Victory Dance here, we're screwed. They do Terra. Are they going to be Terra Fire or Terra Rock or something like that? Maybe Terra Fighting. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. They Terra Fire. Okay. Okay. So Lilligan Terra Fires, which is terrifying. They go for a Victory Dance. Let's see how much this freeze dry does. Because we could freeze them, to be fair. We could freeze them. So this game is not over. So freeze dry comes through. Does no damage, which is fine. I don't care how many of these they get up because a Zelf can come in with its focus sash and just go for a side shock or something to get the KO. They go for a solar blade. That's might not actually KO. It's only plus one. Let's see. It's this it's stab. It's in the sun. Boom. It does KO, so that's fine. And um, what we can do here is, because this Lilligans took out QRM, obviously, um, what we can do is we can go uh, we can go into Skeledurge. Skeledurge definitely lives a hit and has unaware. Or we can go a Zelf. I think I'll go a Zelf to handle this thing. I'll go for a Psy Shock. Or I might get Stealth Rocks up. I don't know. We'll go a Zelf anyway. Um, a Zelf can come and weaken this thing for Skeledurge. So we'll go for a Psy Shock now. They go for a Triple Axle, actually. Oh, I forgot that thing got Triple Axle. But it doesn't KO, even at plus one, which is awesome. A Zelf is living strong. We go for a Psy Shock. That's going to definitely do a lot of damage. It won't take them out, though. That's, the, that's it, because that's the best. I didn't have Psy Kick. I put Psy Shock on it. So let's go for a Psy Shock again. They go for a Solar Blade once more. It's obviously going to KO a Zelf here, but it's fine. Um, as what we can do now is we can go into our Lucario. No, because Lucario doesn't have extreme speed on this particular set. This Lucario is one of them weird Lucarios that doesn't have priority. Um, which would have been handy right now, but it's fine. Skeledurge can come in Like so There's the Skeledurge And we just go for a Hex. There's no reason not to go for a Hex, right? It should KO them They go for a Solar Blade. It's still gonna do a little bit of damage. Nothing too drastic And there we go. Solar Blade comes through Boom a little bit of damage nothing too drastic it still does a lot of damage. Actually. That, was, that was a good amount of damage as Hex takes out the Lilligan, which is fantastic. There we go. So Lilligan goes down. Now, the Harsh Sunlight does fade. What? They have to go into Weezing, right? So little Wheezy comes in. Which is awesome. What we'll do is we'll hard switch into Toxtricity. We withdraw. We're going to go into Toxtricity and we'll go for a Boom Burst. Boom Burst should take out Weezing, right? Should. We definitely outspeed. Strange Steam, that's fine. That won't KO us. Does a lot of damage, like. Uh, we just go for a Boom Burst here every single time. Boosted by Terra, boosted by Punk Rock. Stab, all that stuff. And it one-shots the Weezing. That's insane. 
Alright, I know Weezing doesn't have the best special defense, but still, it's Bulkymon. It's a Bulkymon. GG early, and that was a fun one. I, I like that. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Cobra. So they're going to lead off with Jarvis, which is the Scizor. As I led off with my Kyurem, so he's definitely counter-led me there. Um, good lead, good lead, good lead, good lead. Uh, so obviously, we don't stay in here. We always go into Skeledurge. So Skeledurge is going to have to come in. So there we go. We'll withdraw Kyurem now. We're going to good old Skeledurge. Good old Skeledurge. There we go. As they go for a BP, which will not do much damage to Skeledurge, of course. So that's great for us. Um, it means we can go for a Willow now, or we can go for a, a Hex, predicting the Volga. The, uh, hmm. What would they go into here? Skeledurge kind of goes hard against the team, except for the Swampert, right? So if we assume they, they're going to predict a Torch Song, they might go Swampert. Let's go for a Willow right now. Um, they go for a U-turn. That's fine. It's going to do no damage. And we can slack it all off later. And what are they going to go into to take the burn? Is it going to be the Volca Robot? Skippy comes in. Who's Skippy? Is that the Swampert? It is. Nice and shiny. We go for a Will-O-Wisp. We connect this time, which is nice. Uh, I've been missing Will-O-Wisps a lot recently. You know, I was testing this team on Showdown. I kept missing. I was missing Will-O-Wisps constantly. But in on Kart, it seems to be working better, <laughs> which is awesome. So this thing could be a Mirror Coat. So we've got to be careful of that. I think my best bit to do is go Kyurem here. So we hard go Kyurem. Kyurem can freeze dry this thing into oblivion. There we go. Frostbite comes in. Let's see what they went to go for here. They might have gone for the uh, Miracle, or they might have gone for an EQ or Stealth Rocks. Uh, Stealth Rocks, that makes sense. So Stealth Rocks are up. We can get rid of those later with Mandibuzz. We can just defog them away. Um, but now we're in a good position because what we can do here is we know they're leftovers with Burn. We know they're Stealth Rocks. They probably have Flip Turn and Earthquake and they might have Avalanche or something like that. Um, so we could either go straight for the freeze dry, drip, or we could drop a Draco. I I'm leaning towards dropping a Draco right now, to be honest with you. We drop a Draco, we miss, which is unfortunate. And they go for a flip turn. So flip turn's fine. So the great thing about this is that um, Sizzle can't KO us because it's not banded. Can't KO us with Bullet Punch. We definitely live one. Um, not that I'm going to stay in and go for a Draco or anything like that. Jarvis comes back in the Scizor. Nice and shiny, ugly and shiny. He's a really ugly shiny. Um, so what we'll do is they're going to go for a U-turn anyway, predicting the predicting the Skeletor to come in, right? So should we just drop a Draco and be done with it? I'm just going to drop a Draco. Screw it. Yeah, drop a Draco. We missed again. We missed again. What is this? What is this crap? They go for a knockoff. That's fine. It's fine. So they knocked off our item. That's unfortunate. So they're probably going to go for a U-turn now. Um, or a they're probably going for a bullet punch, to be fair. So I think I'll go Lucario. Lucario, the double miss on the Draco is so unfortunate. Like, the, the, I, I, the Swampert, I should have just gone freeze dry. I didn't expect them to stay in because of the freeze dry potential. But the Scizor was just like, I was just getting damage on him because I thought they'd go for a U turn or a knockoff, either or. Um, so now, anyway, this thing's in. Let's go for a. Let's go for a CC. Um, CC comes through. There's a lot of damage to Jarvis over here. Lowers our defenses, so we're going to die to the next hit if it's a close combat. U-turn, we might live. We do live. It's quad resisted. So Scizor goes back. Now, what do we go into here? Do they go into the Iron Moth? Kaminari comes in. The Thunderous. Interesting choice. So it resists both stabs and it doesn't get KO'd by extreme speed as far as they're aware. We don't have extreme speed. Um, so I think our best bet here is to go into Toxtricity. I think. Do I have a better option than that? Kyurem would be alright. They could go for a Focus Blast, to be fair. Um, do I really need Lucario? I don't think I need Lucario, really, do I? I might just stay in and go for a close combat, let it go down. They, they nasty plot up anyway. That's that's fine. They nasty plot up. Special attack's going to boost. We go for a CC. Does over half, which is banging. We love that. It was a crit. That makes up for the Draco misses. There we go. My debt's been paid. Or Cobra's debt's been paid. So now, they're probably thinking, oh no, Extreme Speed might KO from here. So let's go for a close combat again. They go for a T-Bolt though, that's fine. That's going to take out Lucario, but Lucario did good. You know, it took it did a lot of damage to the Scizor. Did a lot of damage to the Thunderous, which is great. Um, now, this thing could be Terra anything. It could be Terra Flying or like that. Toxtricity is screaming at me right now. But Skeledurge has unaware, so it's, it's special defensive as well. So it makes more sense to go into Skeledurge, um, which is why that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go for a Torch Song. They go for a T-Bolt. Obviously, it's not going to KO. 
And we go for a Torch Fang, which might? It does. Awesome. Gives us a special attack boost as well, so a bit more threatening uh, right now. So Thunderous goes down, which is awesome. But we're in a good position with um, Toxtricity, to be honest with you. So Ridori comes in. Who's Ridori? I, oh, okay. So the uh, Roaring Moon comes in. So we can't switch out because they get a free Dragon Dance if we do. Um, we're just going to have to go for a Will-O-Wisp, to be honest with you. Um, they go for a knockoff anyway, which KOs us. I didn't really have the best switch-ins for that, um, unfortunately. So, Skeletor does go down, but it's fine. At the end of the day, we are alright. Heavy G boost does happen. Um, now we go Azelf. No, Azelf can't do anything. And we break our Focus Dash with the Stealth Rocks. Uh, we go Mandibuzz here. Mandibuzz can handle this, so... Mandibles comes in. They may go for a Dragon Dance, but they can't really do much to us. So I think the first thing we do is knock off, get rid of their item, because they haven't got booster energy, so they must have something else. They withdraw. Something's going to get knocked off, which is great. Absolutely great. Mothew comes in. Is that the Iron Moth? Nice and shiny as well. Chrome. We go for a knockoff on the Switch. It's going to do a decent chunk of damage. Loaded dice. Let me just check the disco real quick. Bruh, why does my Iron Moth have loaded dice? LMFAO. Oopsies. Yeah, so he didn't mean to have loaded dice. That's fair enough. <laughs> Let's go for a Defog real quick. They probably go for a Discharge. Oh no, they go for a Fiery Dance, which is going to do some damage. Might special attack boost them. Doesn't, which is great. Defog comes through. Lowering their evasiveness, which is great. The stones do disappear as well. Now we can go for another U turn and go into our Azelf, who has a Focus Sash. They go for a Sludge Wave, though, which is fine. It's going to do a bit more damage, thanks to the Fiery Dance. Uh, no, they didn't get a special tab boost, did they? So U-Turn comes through. It does no damage, obviously. And our best bet here is going to be Azelf. So I'm going to go into Azelf real quick. So Mystic comes in. And Azelf's in a unique position where it can handle the Swamp Perk with Energy Ball. It can handle everything, pretty much. So let's go for a Psy Shock now. Psy Shock comes through. We do, of course, outspeed. And that is a dead Iron Moth right there. So Iron Moth goes down, which is great. It's a big potential threat to our team. Um, and I'm looking at the rest of the squad, and I'm thinking that Sinister could be a problem. Jarvis comes in. It's fine. We have got Flamethrower. We have got Flamethrower. Um, do we go for the Flamethrower or do we go for the Rocks? I think Flamethrower is way more beneficial to us. Flamethrower comes through. That's a dead scissor. No bullet punch or anything like that. Awesome. They obviously expected us to switch out, but no, I have Flamethrower. I'm afraid. Not British comes in. The Sinister. This is the thing that I was afraid of because of the Calm Mind cap capabilities. Now, our best answer right now is probably going to be a hard switch into QRM to get a nice and powerful stab ice beam off. But I'm also leaning towards Pebbles. So I'm going to go into Pebbles now, and it's either a sack play or a good play. So we're either going to sack off Mandibles to an attack here, like Shadow Ball, which wouldn't KO us anyway, or they go for a Calm Mind. If they go for a Calm Mind, we're boned. They go for a Shadow Ball, though, which probably won't KO us. Yeah, it doesn't KO us. And all we have to do is go for a knockoff first and foremost, get rid of whatever item it might have. They are going to Terrastalize, which is great. Because them not being a ghost type makes them more susceptible to Toxtricity. Depending on what type they go into. They go into a Terra Poison type, which is great. So now Earth Power is an option on QRM. And Boom Burst is an option on the Toxtricity. So let's see what happens. So Knockoff comes through. It does no damage, obviously, but it does. Rocky Helmet takes us out, which means they still have the Rocky Helmet, but it's all right because all our, all our Pokemon are special attackers. So they go for a free Calm Mind, which is fine. We can handle this, though. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we can handle this. So what we'll do now is um, we'll go into Toxtricity. Like so, go into Rancid. And we'll just go for a Terra Normal Boom Burst. Yeah, Terra Normal Boom Burst works. So they've obviously got a Calm Mind up, but Terra Normal Boom Burst should still two shot. And then we get a Throat Spray Pop Prompt as well, which will further increase our chance of two shying. So if they make the mistake of Calm Minding here, we've got them with Toxicity. We've got them. So Boom Burst comes through. Obviously, we outspeed because we are max speed, and they are a Sinister. That nearly KOs even after a Karma. That's awesome. And we get a Throat Spray boost, which is even better. Hopefully, they went for a Shadow Ball here and not a Calm Mind. Yep, Shadow Ball came through. Yep, we got him. We got him. 
We got him. So now, all we have to do is shift gear because we want to outspeed that Roaring Moon, right? Shift gear comes through. I don't think they go for a match of gotcha, but they might do. They might go for a strength sap as well. Either way, we are we are, we we KO the next turn. We don't die to a match of gotcha. We shouldn't die to a match of gotcha anyway. Unless it's a crit. Not a crit. Restores, recovers their health. They haven't got any priority on the team. We win with boom burst. I burned us! Never mind. This could have this this could be game changing. We've got two more attacks in us. Let's use them wisely and go for a boom burst. Boom burst comes through. That burn is unfortunate. But it's fine. Oh, I think we can handle it. I think we can handle this. So Sinister goes down. They they kind of have to, to sack Swamp it here and try and make a comeback with Roaring Moon. But that's pretty much what they've got to do. Because the burn will take us out next turn. Skippy comes in. Yeah, they sack in the Swamp it, as you'd expect. Unless they have Protect on this, which I doubt they do. Um, but Boom Burst should KO here because they are leftovers and not an Assault Vest. Boom Burst comes through. Boom. Boom Burst. Oh, it lived barely holding on. And the Liquidation takes out the Toxtricity. So Toxtricity did well here. It, it took out, you know, it nearly took out the Swamp, but it took out the Sinister. Stopped the Sinister from Carmine sweeping us. Because that could have definitely happened. Um, so the Leftovers are coming through. With a Swampert. A Swampert does get burned, of course. What do I do now? I need something that can take on Roaring Moon as well. Um, Curum is not the answer here. Curum is not the answer here. And neither is Azelf. Curum could. Depends what set the... Um, depends what set the Roaring Moon is, really. So we're going to Mystic. We'll, we'll preserve our Focus Dash by going for a Psy Shock here. Why don't we go for an Energy Ball? We'll go for an Energy Ball. Just in case they did switch into Roaring Moon, we can get some chip. But they don't. Uh, Swampert goes down. Like so. And it's just Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon is a problem. Because if they decide to Dragon Dance here, they've seen all our moves. So they know they can Dragon Dance on us. They know they can Dragon Dance on us. Our best bet is to go for a Flamethrower and hope for a Burn. Oh no, we didn't reveal Stealth Rocks. Let's go for a Flamethrower anyway. They go for a Knock Off the Outspeeders, which tells me they're Choice Scarfed for a start. Which is great. They are Choice Scarfed. And we go for a flamethrower, and that means we do win the game unless they get a crit knockoff. So we go for another flamethrower here. They obviously outspeed us and go for a knockoff. Now, Kyurem's item has already been knocked off. So that means this knockoff won't KO Kyurem unless they get a crit. Which could happen. This is Cobra. So let's go into Kyurem now. Like so. Luckily, there's no more stealth rocks to get in our way. As the pressure is exerted. We go for a Ice Beam here every single time. They go for a knockoff, which shouldn't KO us. Yeah, it doesn't. If it was a crit, though, it would have. That's what I meant. So Ice Beam comes through, and that KOs the Roaring Moon. That was a very close, good game with Cobra. GG Cobra. That was a really fun one. I did enjoy that thoroughly.